Enough with the slander towards this mini game mastery mixology. Did you know that it only takes just over two hours to get potion storage? That is nothing for what it's giving you. This video is going to show you the best way to do this mini game and the different methods you can do so that you can get all the rewards in just about 15 hours. First thing you'll need is a bunch of paste. So get your unfinished potions or your herbs. Use them on the refiner here. You can either stay here in AFK or you can spam click to make it quicker. Depending on if you're an Iron Man or a main, it's going to be different in terms of what you'll want to use. The prices have changed over time and will continue to change. But generally for Aga, if you are an Iron Man, you're going to use Irrit and Dwarves. If you're a main, you're going to use Irrit or Lantadime. Those are the cheapest. For Lai, you're going to use Quorm or Toadflax if you're a main. If you're an Iron Man, you're going to use Quorm or Avento because you have a big surplus of those. And then for Mox, which is generally the cheapest, mains can use Marintel or Terramin. Iron Man can really use anything here, even Hairlander because you got a really big stack. We have our pace. We're almost ready to get started. If you look at the top left here, uh, we got our potions and you can use this definitely. But what I really recommend is downloading the Mastering Mixology plugin. So go to the plugin hub, turn that on. And we're going to see here, this is the biggest quality of life with this plugin. At the top here, we got a bunch of acronyms already spelt out for us. If you can see here, Mega Light Liquid is MLL, which stands for Mox Lie Lie. This plugin is going to make it really easy because it's just going to show you the letters. You don't even have to look at the names anymore. If you're doing it on mobile, you'll get used to the names. But if you're on Ruin Light, definitely use this plugin. Come to the AHA Hopper and you'll deposit. You'll get 3,000 of each in there from your inventory, which is really good. If you come to the levers here, we can then start making potions. So if we look at the top left and we do MLL, MLL, we got this made here. Now the plugin itself is going to highlight the levers like this and you can go with that in colors if you want. What I did is I turned that off and I actually have these uh, made myself which is tile markers and I have them labeled as MAL. I just like using the letters more. You want to hand in completed potions for points. You're going to either complete one, two or three potions depending on the method you're doing and we're going to get into that later. If you look at the top left here, you're going to see you can concentrate, crystallize or homogenize potions. Here we got the concentrate, crystallize and homogenize tables. So let's make all three of these potions and go through all three of these tables. MLL, there's our mega light. Then we got MMM, mammoth mix. And then we got ALA, perfect. Now we're gonna go to each of the tables. So first thing is the mega light table with concentrate. This table, you're just gonna sit here, it's gonna make it. If you spam click, it's gonna make it quicker. Just make sure not to spam click too much because you don't wanna put the next potion in. Next, let's go to the uh, crystallized table here. Here, you're gonna wait until the five pumps, two, three, four, five, and click, and that's gonna speed up the progress. You have to do it on that. The plugin will sometimes show you that too once they kind of fix this plugin. Last table here, we're just gonna sit and wait for an audio or visual cue like that, and we're gonna click. Now we have all three potions completed, we can hand them in. If the mini game was this simple, we wouldn't need a guide for this, but there is more complexity and we're gonna get into the first complex thing, which is potion priority order. The potions you want to make and the potions you want to avoid making. So if we look at this table here, I've put them in order. It's very easy to understand this order, however. The potions at the bottom here are only using one element, triple A, triple M, and triple L. When you hand in something that only uses one element, you only get 20 points. When you do something that has at least two elements, which is pretty much everything in the middle here and top, you're gonna get 30 points. And if you hand in a mix a lot potion, you're gonna get 60 points. So strongly recommend you come to this mini game when you're 81 herb lore, so you get the most amount of points. On top of that, there's also digweed spawns. That's this little icon here. If we go to the mini game here, every so often when you hand in a potion, these digweed spawns in the corner are gonna mature. And if you have the plugin, they'll be highlighted as well. You need to go pick them up and add them to a potion. You'll wanna add them to your mix a lot potions. If you do that, it goes from 60 points to 120 points. You're doubling the amount of points and mix a lot being 60 points is very high. Now, if you're not level 81 herb lore, the best compromise you can do is the Marley's Moonlight at level 66. Uh, if that's the absolute lowest, because that's still gonna give you 60 points when you hand it in, but strongly recommend you go for 81. Now you may be asking yourself, how should you be doing this mini game? Should you be handing in one potion? Should you be handing in all three? Should you be handing in two, depending on what shows up? There are different methods you can do, and I've measured each of them to determine which ones are the best points per hour, which ones have more XP per hour. Points are obviously more important, but I did measure XP as well. So the first method you might be thinking about is making any potion that shows up as long as it's not a single ingredient potion. So here we have three different potions. We can make M, M, A, then we can make M, M, L, 
And then we can make Mixalot, which is our absolute favorite. Yay. And then you'll want to make the potions. And because it's always going to make the potions in the order of your inventory, my recommendation is to, once you've made the potions that you're going to make, go through the table order here. So here we got two concentrate. So we're just going to come to this table and do our two concentrate potions. Uh, click, 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 click. And there's our second one. And then the last one was up here. And we're going to wait for the queue. There's the queue. And we got our potions. And then we hand them in and we get something new. Here we got all three. We would do the exact same thing. We'd make these three potions. Then we'd go to each of the three tables in order just to make it simple for ourselves. The next method that people might be thinking about is just making one potion and making the potion that's the best potion. Of course, if two mix a lot shows up, you'll want to do two of those. So here, if we look at this list, the best potion we can make is Marley's Moonlight. So we're going to go MML and we're going to pick us up. And because the plugin works like this, it's going to actually highlight the table. So it's going to make it a little bit more comfy to do this method. There's the queue and we're going to go and we're going to hand this in. Now, the reason why we're doing MML over MMA is because in the rewards, we need more Lai than we need Aga. In order of what we need, we need Lai the most, Mox the second most, and Aga the least. So if we hand this in here, we got three more. So now we got mix a lot. So we're going to come here and we're going to make a mix a lot potion. Very simple. And it's going to highlight the table. So this method's very simple for doing this. One potion at a time, 90% of the time, hand it in. So these are the two main methods that we're going to be doing, right? You might be asking yourself which one you should be doing. I have spent multiple hours doing each one to determine which one's better. And there's kind of a clear winner, but it also depends on your account as well. So let's get into it. In terms of the points, which are the most important thing, in my opinion, Multiple potions, I was getting just under 10,000 per hour. Single, I was getting just over 10,000 per hour. I was getting about 800 more points per hour doing single potions. So that right off the bat is really good. I was getting less XP though doing it. I was getting about 8,000 more doing multiple potions in the hour. Uh, but in my opinion, XP is not super important. So points wise, definitely single potions win. That being said, it's not that simple. Uh, multiple potions, if you cannot make mix a lot potions, this is what you'll want to do. Mix a lot potions are very dependent on the single potion strategy, where multiple potions doesn't need it as much. So if you can't get 81 herb lore yet, definitely do multiple potions. For single potions, the reason why this is more points per hour is because we're handing in one potion at a time. It's giving us more time to refresh the list and get more mix a lot. And on top of that, we're getting more digweed spawns. Because we're handing in potions pretty rapidly and digweed is based on how many potions you hand in, we're gonna be getting a lot of them and we're gonna be constantly adding them to our mix a lot potions to boost our point total. We're not handing as many potions, which is why we have less XP per hour, but we're handing in more boosted potions, which is why we have more points per hour. This does require you to have 81 or a blur, definitely. Um, and you'll definitely also want graceful because you're going to be running around a little bit more. So no fashion scape or less fashion scape uh, without that. There is a big con with the multiple potions that I haven't talked about yet. And that is the fact that you have way less control of your point distribution. We talked how the rewards have different levels needed, how we need more lie potions. With the multiple potion method, because you're making multiple potions, you're kind of spreading yourself between the three a lot more evenly where when you're making a single potion, you're kind of favoring the points you need more. So lie, for example, you're going to see a lot of, you might see two potions on the list. You might see MLL and then you might see MMA and you're going to automatically make the MLL. So over time, you're going to end up with more lie points. On top of that, let's say if you reach a point where you needed more mocks, you can start switching your strategy around and start prioritizing like MMA and MML versus going for, you know, AAL or something. So single potions is going to give you much more control of that. Overall, I would say everybody should be doing the single potion method unless they're not 81 herblore. Let's talk about a few advanced things. First thing, digwe, you can only have one in your inventory at one time. It won't spawn another one. You can circumvent this, however, by having a potion in your inventory that's already boosted like this. So I just boosted this mix a lot. In my opinion, you can keep a couple mix a lot in your inventory or whatever your highest potion is. That way you have it here. You don't want to turn it in, however. So you'll continue to do the regular kind of method. And then as soon as you see mix a lot, let's see if we get it here. We don't have it here, but if we had mix a lot, we would go make it and then hand in the boosted potion. Just keep in mind that you want to keep these potions at the bottom of your inventory. It's always going to use the top most potions when you're using a machine automatically. And you don't want to make the mistake of accidentally putting in like a mix a lot 
and then making the wrong thing and losing a digweed mix a lot. The other thing we want to pay attention to is sometimes you're going to go dry on mix a lots and you might end up with a lot of digweed mix a lots in your inventory. That's fine. Eventually it's going to turn around. And then you might have the opposite happen where you're having a lot of mix a lot showing up and you don't have digweed yet. That's also fine. Just hand in the mix a lot that's not boosted. Still a lot of points. One more method I want to go over that's very sweaty, but I want to bring it up. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to make three of every single potion except the single element potion. Once you've done that, the rest of your inventory is going to be mix a lot potions. I'm going to do MMA three times, MML three times. Then we're going to kind of work through AAM three times, AAL three times. LLA three times, LLM three times, and then the rest mix a lot. Now that I have all the potions in my inventory, what you could do now is just go between the three machines and rotate. That way you have one of each potion. So if I were to do that here, for instance, I'm making these first three. We got one here, second, third. So now I have one of each potion for this type. The other thing you could do instead is stay on a machine and camp it. Specifically, you want to go to concentrate last because it's the easiest. And you're going to click on it. You're going to do a potion. And then you're going to use the next potion on the machine. So you're not using the, the wrong one by accident. This makes it so you don't have to leave the machine. Now that with this last machine, this is kind of the easiest one because you can just sit here and you can just spam click until the rest of your inventory is complete. And this is the best part of this method. Now we're going to spam click fulfill. You're going to do it until you start failing orders. It's about maybe six or seven clicks or so. And then you kind of need to restock on the potion. So let's see what happens here. There we go, we're starting to fail. We can stop here and now we got to remake the potions. When you're spamming so many orders like that, a digweed is definitely going to spawn. I missed mine there. At the end, definitely go pick that up. But of course, it's only going to be one per run because of how quickly you're spamming. Overall, this method is going to cost you more money because it's less digweed used, more failed orders. But again, it's the most points you can get. Now you've got two main methods and one sweaty method. You can kind of choose what to do. But in my opinion, the best thing people should do by default is a single potion method as long as they can make mix a lot. That method is a good amount of points. It's very reclined and it allows you to control the points you want to receive if at any point you need a certain point more than the other. Like at first you'll need lie and maybe later you might need something else. That's going to allow the reward buying to be a lot easier. Speaking of rewards, people have been saying it's like 40 hours to complete this minigame or something. It's not even close to that. The prescription goggles, the amulet, the potion storage, all just about two hours or so to complete each. Very reasonable. The reagent pouch is almost four. The chugging barrel is almost five. Overall, those key rewards, you're looking at about 15 hours to complete. A little bit of time to make the paste and whatnot. So even if you add a few hours, that's still pretty reasonable. You can go out of your way for the extra pieces of the outfit here. Get your log slots, get your fashion scape. Total two and a half hours for all three of them. Very good. Aldarium, the only consumable you're going to buy. Never buy the potion packs. They're very, very bad. You can get about 45 an hour. That's about 34 four dose potions made from them. But if you use the goggle and the amulets, which you probably buy before this, you can make 39 four doses. Or as a main, you can just sell these probably for a decent profit. Overall, it's not a terribly high amount per hour, and there might be better methods in the future, but this should be enough to get a small stack going for these very valuable potions.